The word of the Lord declares, and I'm reading from the NIV, it says, Surely he took up our infirmities and carried our sorrows. Yet we considered him stricken by God, smitten by him, and afflicted. But he was pierced for our transgressions, and he was crushed for our iniquities. The punishment that brought us peace was upon him, and by his wounds we are healed. Somebody say amen. amen. Let us pray this morning. Gracious Lord, we thank you for your anointing and your presence that is filling this place, O oh God. God, I pray as I yield myself, use me as your oracle to have your word go forward this morning, Father. God, I pray that you will open the hearts of your people here this morning, God, to receive your word, Father. And I pray that lives will be changed today, God, and that bodies will be healed and people set free. In Jesus' name we pray. And everybody say amen. amen. You may be seated in the presence of the Lord. The title of my message this morning is, Have You Been to the Back of the Cross? The Lord dealt with me on this message about two or three months ago during my devotion time. And uh, this is a scripture that we all know is very familiar with. We've heard it millions of times. And this time around, it, made it, it did something new to my spirit. And as we begin to look at this, and God began to show me some things, He reminded me of the back of the cross. So many times as Christians, as believers, we remember the front of the cross. We remember the face of Jesus with the crown of thorns on His head, with nails in His hands and His feet. And we remember the blood that was shed on Calvary. Amen. Amen. And we remember the front of the cross as the place where we give our life to Jesus, where we surrender our life. The song we sang earlier, Oh, the blood of Jesus, it washes white as snow. But God reminded me that there's a second part to the cross. And his back was beaten and whipped so that he could be healed. Amen? Come on, you have to shout. Y'all know me by now. He was beaten and bruised so that you could be healed. Isaiah prophetically wrote that by his stripes we are. See, and we think of healing in the physical sense. Maybe someone with cancer, diabetes, or high blood pressure. But we have to remember that God heals spiritually also. Amen. See, he heals us from the inside out. There's a great song that my uncle knows. It's Jesus on the inside, working on the outside. Oh, what a change in my life. I thank God that he will not only heal me physically, but he heals me spiritually. He heals me emotionally. He heals me mentally. See, and we need to remember that there are two parts to the world. One, when we come and lay our burdens down before God. And the other one, we can walk to the back of the cross and look at where he was whipped and beaten and bruised. And during the midst of that, he said, by my stripes, you are healed. Amen. See, and you notice when God speaks, he never speaks in the present tense or the past tense, I'm sorry. He speaks in the present tense. He speaks in the now. He says, you whip." Be healed. Mm -hmm. Meaning yesterday, today, and forevermore. Mm -hmm. If you turn to the book of Exodus, look there very quickly. We're, we're, I love the sound of Bible pages turn. Exodus 15, 26. See, God likes with his word and he hears the Bible flipping the pages and the devil gets upset. Exodus 15, 26. I want you to get there real quick. I'm going to show you how God speaks in the now. Even in the Old Testament, as God was bringing the law. Exodus 15, 26, are we there? It says, he said, if you listen carefully to the voice of the Lord your God, and do what is right in his eyes, if you pay attention to his commands and keep all his decrees, I will not bring you, I will not bring on you any of the diseases I brought on the Egyptians. Here's where God speaks. For I am the Lord who heals you. He is very specific when he speaks. 
See, God says, I am. See, a lot of times I know churches that preach that, oh, God doesn't heal the sick anymore. That was just for the Bible days. That's when Jesus walked the earth. Beloved, I'm here to tell you this morning that God is still in the healing business. Oh, you must take the time to shout and say amen right there. I said, God is still in the healing business. If he healed 2,000 years ago, he's still healing today. See, now I don't know if you have a physical issue. I don't know maybe if your, your healing needs to be emotionally or spiritually or relational or in your finances. But God will heal. See, I understand that the back of the cross is just as important as the front of the cross. His blood cleanses not only sin, but it destroys sickness. <clears throat> it destroys sickness. We have to think, imagine what Jesus went through as he was being whipped, punched, and even spat upon. And yet he never said a word took the punishment so that you wouldn't have it. He took the punishment so that you wouldn't have it. He's a healing God. He's a saving God. He's a deliverer. And I don't know what you need today, but in a short time from now, we're going to open these altars. And I'm going to believe God to heal your situation. I don't know where it is. I don't even need to know where it is. God already knows. But I also know that God already knows the outcome. Amen? Amen. See, we went through a rough stretch in our lives starting. It was really up and down here starting in 04. We found out our daughter Isabel was born in August of 04. My grandmother, who my uncle talked about, my mom's mom, my, my grandfather's wife, passed away. And uh, in 06 and 05, a woman of God who played that piano. And I thought as she was stricken with this sickness, I said, God, why are you And then she went home to be with Jesus. And the Lord reminded me that she's in heaven completely healed by the Completely healed by the power My grandmother before in California passed away with a little disease. Because she battled for 11 years. But I take great joy that the word of God is true. That both my grandmothers are in heaven completely healed by the power of God. They're not in heaven, sick in body. They've been given a new body. I pray when I get to heaven, my new body is about 30 pounds lighter. <laughs> and maybe even a little taller. Being five, seven and some change is not enough. But his promises are yea and amen. That even though I didn't physically able to see my grandmother's healed here on earth. I know when I get to heaven, they're completely 